Hi everybody, Carol here. Welcome. Today I have a video of another use of our pointed pen nibs, of calligraphy nibs, and uh, I hope you'll stay till the end because one of my favorite elements is at the very end. But what I'm doing is I'm writing the word May. I used uh, some templates that I had, some old templates uh, of block letters, and I traced around the word May. And then I'm using some alcohol markers and coloring in and I wanted to use spring colors and uh, pink blue green and yellow and um, anyway the, so I'm just I'm going around and doing this very fast speeding it up a lot uh, so that it doesn't just bore you to tears but uh, just blending these colors together with the markers and I was doing it rather randomly just going to blend some spring colors but then I um, I thought I saw a little bit of a flower in there and I thought I'd go for it. I'm certainly not an artist by any means, but uh, I started kind of trying to give the uh, illusion of a flower. And um, as you can see, I go back time after time and darken up the edges. And uh, a lot of times with dots, uh, that's just the way I like to do it and spread it out that way. And um, so anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm going back around the edges uh, trying to get some highlights and some shading and um, I just keep going with it and working it and um, which you kind of do with alcohol markers and uh, just getting try to get more depth anyway and then uh, make the flowers look more realistic if I can they're certainly not really realistic but uh, anyway so I had a lot of fun with this I enjoyed it it took more time than I thought but that part was good so here I am with the uh, the pen, the nib, and I'm using uh, walnut ink, and I'm not even trying to keep a straight line. I'm doing this freehand. I mean, I'm I'm doing as best I can, but there are times when I just purposely uh, zigzag the line out a little bit, like right there on the top of the A, and uh, go back and do it, and uh, try to not drag my hand through the wet ink. But then this was the fun part I'm talking about. Uh, actually, this was my husband's idea. He said, you could tie those letters together with like a vine or a branch. And I thought, I do like that idea. So I just uh, I traced it out first to see a couple of d different designs. And uh, this one on the Y, I just decided to do a loopy loop around the stem of the Y. And um, then I came off with the end. And then... I go back and I start drawing, drawing some leaves and mine are very simplistic, just a, almost a heart shape curved on one side, uh, kind of like a backwards S and then I make a fat curve on the other side. And uh, so anyway, that's, and then and at the ends of the stems, I do some, and different, in another place, I do a little curly hue, kind of like a, a little tendril, but everything is super simple and uh, the A lent itself very well with the opening that I could go take the vine through the A and bring it back around the other letter. So, uh, and then some of the stems, some of the leaves have longer stems. If you were doing a branch, it would be like another little twig. And then I go back to color and I use three different colors of green. Uh, and I'm just showing, I just kind of blob it on at first because I don't want to get outside the line. These are very small. And uh, then I go back with a lighter green and do the tips and uh, I'm speeding this up of course a lot but it's then I go back with a dark dark green and just basically put a dot at the base of the leaf or sometimes on the side of the leaves so uh, just gives it more depth and it just takes a second so I hope you enjoyed this I enjoyed doing it you know April showers bring May flowers and that's why I came up with the uh, idea of the flowers but uh, thank you for being here. Please come back again another time. If you want to subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll know when the next video is out. Uh, the, you'll be notified. I don't know when it will be out, but anyway, so thank you again so much. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and then I'll see you again real soon. So until then, have a wonderful rest of the day, and we'll see you. Bye-bye.